Police say a man went on a drunken rampage at a local church, breaking in, destroying property, even leaving a trail of blood on the holy grounds. Jim Nelson live tonight with new video from inside the sanctuary. Jim. Yeah, Chris, not only that, cops say he tried to set the building on fire. That blood likely came from breaking glass. I talked to the priest here tonight, as you might imagine. He's shocked by all of this, but he tells me the entire congregation is focused on moving forward. A statue of the Virgin Mary toppled over. The crucifix knocked off the wall. Only some of the damage at Immaculate Conception Catholic Church. It was a desecration of the church, and this is our holy place. This is where we come to meet God. Father Michael Troja has spent parts of 15 years at the Willoughby Church. Hard to imagine anything darker than this. It all started in the 24-hour chapel. Police say this surveillance video shows 30-year-old Eric Beck as he walks in just after 1 a.m. Saturday. Police photos show the damage that was done there. About 40 minutes later, you see the guy entering the church's main area using a snow shovel to beat the candles. It was really very sad to see, very, very sad. Cops say he tried setting the carpet on fire with a lighter and hand sanitizer. All of this set off a security alarm. Willoughby police got to the church just before 2 o'clock and made the arrest. Beck, who's from Painesville and not a member of the church, bonded out of jail, but he's charged with breaking and entering, vandalism, and arson. Insurance will cover damage and cleanup. In fact, most of the damage was cleaned up by Saturday in time for weekend services, including Sunday Mass. It brings us closer together, and we have our faith that keeps us going, and um, we'll get through this. We'll get through this very well, I think. Now, police said Beck was, quote, highly intoxicated, but they've not said anything about a possible motive. No court date yet has been listed for him. He did appear this morning. As you saw there, they are all just focused on getting over this and continuing on with the church's mission. Live in Willoughby, Jim Nelson, 19 News.